What's going on guys? I'm here in San Diego, California, and this is where Spark Aerial is. Now, this is actually one of the first of a few videos that I want to do, mostly because I want to give a little bit more exposure to a lot of the companies that normally sit behind the scenes that you guys don't really hear about or talk about, uh, mainly because, of course, this is not the front end type of thing that most people are get excited about. Of course, the drones are what people are excited about, but at the same time, those things run off of specific software and applications. And Spark Aerial is one of those companies that actually develop and write the software for a lot of these drone apps. Hopefully I'll be able to bring to you guys a little bit more insight of the companies that are uh, normally developing these apps, developing the software, as, as well as some of the products. There's a bunch of companies I'm gonna be talking to up in LA that actually develop a lot of the products that you guys use. So that'll be another video in the series. So let's go over to Spark Aerial now and just talk to Radley about some of the projects that they've worked on, as well as Fluidity, which is their most recent one. Let's head over there now. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Radley. I'm one of the founders of Spark Aerial, and I'm really excited to take you through our office. Uh, we started the company about five years ago. We uh, met at an engineering lab at uh, UC San Diego, and we were really excited about kind of drone technology and where it was going. Uh, and basically since then, we've worked with a lot of big companies to take what we know about drones, what we know about software, and make some really cool products out of it. So some of that's around here in the office. There's a lot of DJI uh, artifacts on the wall from things that we used to fly all the time, but it's kind of a, a, a cool look back at what drones have been and where they're going and some of the cool partners we've been uh, lucky enough to work with. Our projects have spanned quite a number of different things. So we started doing a lot of marketing work where uh, not just drones for filming, but also drones is like a creative fun thing to connect a brand with an audience. Right here, actually, this is a, a drone system we built uh, in combination with HBO and Verizon. So this is actually a Game of Thrones themed uh, drone that we built. There's a whole fleet of them. Uh, and they didn't just look the part. We actually wrote an app so that um, it did like a droney and it actually connected with the Game of Thrones intro. So it was a really cool way for people to have a cool video takeaway. We were on an island, we were in Aruba, um, and it was basically to connect the HBO audience with this cool little stunt gimmick that we got to do. Uh, that was a couple years ago now. Our projects have evolved. We're doing a lot more enterprise work these days, so there's a lot of software applications with things like mapping and industrial scanning, where drones are becoming more and more a part of the utility. Um, you can see up here we have kind of our more industrial workforce. There's drones everywhere here, and we have a storage unit in the building too, which is just full of Pelican cases. But this is like the workhorse. This is the M210 with the dual camera setup. Um, for a lot of customers, we have to do a lot of test and trial runs with different cameras and payloads and software running on that. Uh, there's some cool testing stuff happening here all the time. Um, what's really great is that we can actually test everything in a simulator before we actually go out and fly. So we have a whole uh, workflow about when we have something new we want to test or build, run it in the simulator first, check the app, check different versions of the app, check different operating systems. Um, there's obviously a whole charging station set up, which the most current stuff's on the table. I always like to point out the, uh, the drone on the wall. That was one of the, the first generation of DJI aircraft that had uh, like a real dedicated flight controller on it that you could access. So this is the S1000. And now it's just wall artwork, but back in the day, that was like the cutting edge tech. And that was our heavy lift for, uh, for carrying cinema gear. So a lot of the projects are, are not in the United States. So we travel a lot for work. Um, all the wall artwork on this side is actually from a project we did in Nicaragua. Uh, we were using drones to help map uh, the inside of an active volcano crater. So this is actually pretty close to the capital city of Managua, Nicaragua, and this lava lake just appeared basically one day. Um, and it was really dangerous to send people down there, so we actually customized some drones to be able to go down close to the crater and collect things like air samples and, and heat. Um, so volcanologists could actually look at a map and say, here's what's happening inside this crater. It might erupt or et cetera, et cetera. And the drones became a little bit disposable, but the data they got back was actually really useful for trying to map out whether it was a safety concern for the people of Nicaragua. So, so in, in 2016, we were actually in Rio for the Olympics uh, and we were part of the team that was live streaming from the air um, as part of a marketing effort for GE. So we were in Brazil for about two months, but it was a really awesome experience to go out, take all this stuff to a different country and really understand how drones and logistics and all that kind of stuff works in a place that isn't the United States that doesn't have the, uh, the FAA rules that we do. So it's really exciting. Came back with more than just a cup, but um, it, was, it was also a logistical challenge trying to figure out how to get early DJI tech to stream and play nicely with existing like TV technology. This is uh, one of our more professional grade like surveying tools. Um, so we build a lot of technology that 
takes the data as an output of either drones or something like this, combines it and makes it viewable for people so you can create like reports and actionable data. Um, so this is actually a LiDAR unit. Um, we were, at the time when we bought this thing, these were sort of a hot commodity because this is the same puck they use on self-driving cars. So this actual unit uh, came from the top of a wrecked Uber Volvo when they had that crash. Um, and so we were able to snap it up, made it with this thing, and we actually fly this on the, uh, the M600. And it's a spinning laser that creates an instantaneous map all the time of the surroundings. So uh, we didn't use it to actually uh, interface with the flight controller. We used it just to get really, really good maps and models. Uh, we actually worked with the city planner in San Diego to build um, a full high resolution laser map of downtown San Diego. Um, and we were, we were able to talk to them about all the discrepancies in the data, where roads are taller and lower, that kind of stuff. So a project we've been working on for the last couple years, but it's just making it to market actually, uh, I think this week. Um, this is the FT Aviator, and it's from a company called Fluidity Technologies. Uh, good friends of ours, we've known them for a number of years, and we've been really excited to help uh, make their, their idea come to life. It went from a napkin sketch to an actual physical product, which is really cool. Uh, this is a, a drone controller, so this replaces the, uh, the two joystick setup that you normally get when you buy like a DJI uh, drone. Um, and the real innovation here is that instead of it being sort of mapped on two different sticks and you have to think about that and learn that, um, it's a really intuitive way to fly because it's a primary joystick for all the normal controls that you'd expect and the throttle to go up and down is done here. So ultimately, the idea is if you're new to drone flying or you are struggling with some maneuvers because they're a little bit complex to practice over and over again, um, this removes some of that barrier to entry to make your shots come out really clean and to make your filming experience uh, really produce the footage that you want. Uh, there's a lot of really cool features in here that we're really excited, made it into production. Um, when we sat down a while ago, I think we were the kind of the drone experts in the room and the other team had a lot of manufacturing and production experience. So it was really exciting to take what we knew and to try to make the best product possible. Um, we also wrote both the iOS and the Android app for the product. Um, so if you get this and you download it in the app store that was built right here in San Diego. Uh, and the app is the interface between this and your, your DJI ecosystem. So all the camera settings and stuff is, is all changed in the app. This is a, an early prototype just to show you how far we've come. This was probably about 18 months ago. Um, so in the early days when you're trying to build hardware, you really have to do stuff quickly. So this is actually all 3D printed. Um, it was built off of a, a Logitech joystick that got taken apart. But it just kind of goes to show how you can mock things up today and really you know, get a feel for what a product is going to be before it actually uh, gets to mass manufacturing. Um, obviously, super unpleasant to actually go fly, but we learned a lot. We actually changed the mechanism from, uh, from this bit here to a, to a much more like ergonomic uh, bit with your, your trigger finger. So. This was kind of stage zero and we've come a long way and these, uh, these are being manufactured right now and assembled um, and they're shipping out to customers this week. So that was a little tour of a uh, hardware product from uh, Fluidity Technologies. Make sure you guys check them out. It's called the FT Aviator. We're really excited it's launching this week. Um, of course, we'd love for you to come check out our website and see stuff we're working on, recent projects. Um, our website is sparkcreative.tech, uh, and that's our Instagram as well. You can always check there for recent updates, things we're working on out in the field, stuff that we're learning and always playing with drones. Um, we love talking to new people and learning about new projects, so if there's ever anything you want to know about drones and software, how to really unlock what the DJI ecosystem lets us play with, um, feel free to drop us a line. We're really excited in 2019 to still be working on the tech and to be working closely with DJI and people like Aldrin um, and really just keep a pulse on what's happening in the new hardware and software that's making this whole ecosystem run. And there it is guys, that was Spark Aerial. Hope you guys got some value from that. Like I mentioned before, I definitely want to do a lot more videos like this that just give a lot more exposure to some of these companies, some of these people that are normally sit behind the scenes, which I feel like should get just as much attention as DJI's, you know, all these other companies that are putting out these products. Uh, most people just aren't really giving them as much attention as they deserve. I do want to, you know, give them a platform where they're able to talk a little bit more about all the things that are involved, 
software that's involved, the technology, the research and development. Uh, I wanna be able to bring that to you guys just so you guys know exactly how much work is going on in order for us to come out with an application, a software, or some product. So hopefully you guys got some value from this video. And of course, if you did, smash that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. I hope to do a few videos in this series about, you know, about some products, about some software that we all use. So hopefully you guys uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post more of these videos. This is Alter Astacio with flightpath.com. See you guys in the next one. Take care.